Hey guys, welcome back to my colorful country life. I have mentioned in a few videos about how I iron my pages to get the wrinkles out and the warping just to make the pages lie flat again. So a few people have asked me how I do this and I thought I'd just show you a quick video today on my process. So I have been working on this page here from Hannah Carlson's jewelry box. Excuse the noise outside. It is school holidays and I can hear my kids revving their dirt bikes outside. Perfect timing. Um, so yeah, I've been working on this page here from Hannah Carlson's jewelry box. And as you can see, the page has had quite a bit of warping. I have used watercolor paints on the background. So now I wanna flatten it out again before I start coloring my other elements. So I do suggest ironing your page once all your mediums have dried completely and before you go in and complete the page. So I'm gonna do this now before I add in any other mediums. I have done this on completed pages before, but the heat will affect your pencil work, your gel pens, your glitter, any other embellishments you put on the page. So I feel it is best to do it before adding all those extra details. So I've brought my iron upstairs for this exercise. Now let's hope it reaches across. Yep, should reach just fine. Um, so you're going to want your iron to be on a medium heat, so not too hot. Um, you don't want to burn the paper and not too cool either as it's not going to flatten out nicely. So I am going to set mine to about halfway. So I'm going to set it there and just leave it to warm up. Now you're going to need two pieces of scrap paper as well. I'm just going to use some scrap um, printer paper today. You can also use a thin fabric like a pillowcase or even a tea towel if you'd prefer. So we're going to put one piece of paper at the front to protect the artwork on the opposite side from any transference. And I'm also going to pop one behind too. So um, it's going to create a little barrier between our iron and our page just so we don't do any damage in case we um, make it a little bit too hot. We don't want to burn our page. So put that one in the front there so there's no transference onto this page. And we are going to be ironing from the back of the page here. So now when you iron, you want to move it around in all directions. Don't keep it in the same spot for too long. It could burn your page. So keep the iron moving. Okay, so my iron is hot enough now. And just for your reference, I've got mine set at nylon. Um, and what I'm gonna do is just hold that down, left-handed, so this might look awkward. <laughs> and I'm just gonna move it around, try not to keep it in the same area for too long. Move it all the way around. And when you're satisfied, you've gotten it as flat as you want it or need it, you're going to then close up the book so you can let it cool down. So I'm going to close the book now to let that cool down. Now, as you leave it to cool, um, it can help to put some heavier books on top to apply a little bit more pressure while it cools. So I'm just going to grab one. I grabbed a couple, actually, just a couple of Hannah Carls on hardcover books just to put on top to keep it closed. Um, so you can leave it for a few minutes. You can leave it as long as you like, actually. You can go and do something else and come back to it later. You can leave it overnight, however long you wish. Just make sure it is nice and flat. And we'll come back in a moment. Okay, so I have left it for a couple of minutes. I'd probably put it aside and leave it a little bit longer normally. Um, but because I am filming this as a video, I am a little bit impatient. So we're going to lift everything up and have a look at our page now to see the difference. So I'm just going to move these to the side and open it up. So let's take our paper out and you can see there we are so much more flatter. So um, leaving it closed again, you would get it even more flat. But compared to where we started, I think we've done pretty well there. Excuse my watercolour I got on the other side. But yeah, nice and flat, I think. Um, I hope you enjoyed this quick demonstration and I hope you found it helpful as well. Have a wonderful day, happy colouring and bye for now. And don't forget to switch off your iron.